Imagine waking up on May 18th, 1902, in our little hometown of Holton, that had been totally changed by fire from the day before. From 12.40 a.m. on May 17th, 1902, until 7 p.m. that evening, a fire raged out of control, changing the town forever, and from that day on being known as the Great Fire of 1902. It started in Dyer's Market, which was in the fog block on Main Street. And before our own fire department could get water on this fire, the flag and fog blocks were roaring. It rapidly spread to both sides of the street, burning up all the businesses. The fire was then out of control, and it swept up the tenement buildings located in the rear of these buildings. That afternoon and late into the evening, our local firefighters, along with crews and equipment from Woodstock, New Brunswick, Fort Fairfield, Praskow, and Caribou fought a great fire that raged through our town like no other had done before. It was fanned by extremely high winds and dry conditions. Crews from Bangor had been held on a special train produced by the Bangor and Rustic Railroad, readied in Old Town but it did not come after it learned that the fire was eventually under control. The very first house that was lost was on Spring Street, three quarters of a mile from the fire. Sparks and embers flew through the air and landed on Mr. Walter Eaton's home, one of only three houses on Spring Street at that time, and soon the house was in flames and quickly became a total loss. The fire raged up Main Street, burning the Dewey Hotel, Riley's Fish Market, Dennis Sheehan's Harness Shop, Wan Singh's Laundry, and the Collins Marble Works. And then on the north side of Main Street, the furniture building of Keaton and Betts was a total loss. It also went across onto Military Street, destroying the Second Unitarian Church. the Methodist Church. And the Free Baptist Church, along with many residents. The Methodist Church was rebuilt. As was the Baptist Church. as was the Unitarian Church. All in all, 75 dwellings and 25 places of businesses with a total of 111 buildings were destroyed that afternoon. Now, however horrible that that was, and it was, let us remember that because of this, we have the beautiful Monument Park. The fog block was rebuilt. The churches were all rebuilt. The space across the street from the park gave way to the beautiful Elks Lodge that was built in 1906-1907. Many businesses with outstanding brickwork and architecture that we all admire today are because of that fire. The Rustic Times and the Story of Holton.